So today I want to show you my new drive coils. They are about 8 ohms each, uh, 20 millihenries. They are 40 millimeters wide and uh, 30 millimeters uh, long, like 30 millimeters this way. Uh, they, it's, they consist of about um, 100 meters worth of 0 0.5 millimeter wire and there's two of them. Uh, I 3D printed the fo coil forms and uh, also these supports. Um, the motor now has two uh, ceramic bearings, one at the top and one at the bottom there. And today I'm actually gonna make two new rotors. This is uh, the big one and I'm also gonna make a mini rotor um, I'm, because I'm gonna build a miniature version of uh, the Adams motor which I hope to be able uh, to make for sale at some point, to sell at some point. So you see a ceramic bearing, uh, this is a 3D printed rotor which is very light. Uh, it has a 7 millimeter um, ceramic uh, or sorry, ferrite magnets in it and it has a little uh, brass flywheel that uh, will be the lid here so that's how it uh, will come together and um, then here yeah we also have a flywheel but it's a lot heavier and a lot thicker as you can see also made of brass 5 millimeter thick 116 millimeters wide so uh, that will uh, make this uh, roads were a lot heavier. Uh, this uh, this thing alone is about uh, 440 grams. So uh, we'll see what that does to the rotor. Um, these are all the magnets that are gonna go in here. Uh, this is the bottom of the rotor. I have two of these but I'm thinking of just using one because else the rotor will be really really heavy. So uh, we'll see how this goes first. And uh, yeah I, I 3D printed one of these. Uh, that will actually slide on and clamp on uh, to the shaft because these ones that I was using originally have these grub screws in the side as you can see um, but I have the feeling that they are pushing the rotor slightly out of center um, off center and so when the rotor spins when the motor is running um, you see the shaft wiggling a bit so I'm gonna try to use this one instead uh, that should keep uh, that doesn't need any grub screws and so it should keep the shaft centered better so we'll see how all of that works in a second so I finished putting both rotors together and I have to say that they look pretty darn sleek if you ask me that's the mini motor rotor and this is the uh, big motor rotor <laughs> so uh, this one has acrylic at the, on the bottom uh, the bottom three layers are acrylic they have the magnets inside as you can see and uh, then a 5 millimeter brass flywheel at the top and this one is 3D printed um, and has a 2 millimeter flywheel at the top and there we go it's running really smoothly uh, I hardly feel any vibrations so that's good. The sound is pretty low, although I do hear some things coming from somewhere, but I'll figure that out later. It, it runs quite smoothly actually, and it looks really pretty. Um, and yeah, it's uh, currently running at 1964 RPM, it's almost 2000 RPM. So there's a lot of energy stored in that flywheel right now. So yeah pretty happy with this and um, I'm gonna do some more experimenting